This might be the best Thunderbolt 4 dock to pick up right now. It has 20 different ports, a small form factor, and that aluminum build is also sexy. If you combine and smash two Thunderbolt devices together, you have this. This has the ability to power four 6K monitors all at the same time. This thing is a beast. Hey, welcome back, it's V, let's get started. This was sent to me for review. I was not paid to review this. This is the Ivanki Fusion Dock Max, and it might really be worth that Max name. Right now, you can pick this up off Amazon for about $400. This is quite a bit more expensive than your standard Thunderbolt device, but it has the added benefit being able to connect four 6K monitors at any given time with 20 available ports. It really is on top of the high end, like a Ferrari of connected devices. Inside the box, you get the unit itself, the instructions, the manuals, the usual paper gear. There is an envelope which has a start guide, how you connect everything. You also have Velcro straps for cable management. I will say this is the world's biggest power brick. This thing will chug the sun. There is a dual style Thunderbolt cable, which is made more so for MacBook Pros. It should also work with Mac Studio and the Mini just fine. There's also the wall plug for the power brick. So overall, it's your pretty standard stuff. This device is a bit bigger than your standard Thunderbolt device. Maybe a few inches longer, but overall it's not that bad. This does have some heft behind it, about 800 grams. It's about a third of the weight of my 16 inch MacBook Pro. This is made from aluminum and the build quality is pretty solid. The dual Thunderbolt cable connects to the backside of the device. This is from a brand I've worked with in the past and overall they do sell some quality stuff. This Thunderbolt device is on another level compared to other ones I've reviewed. Basically you smash two devices together and you have this. There are two Thunderbolt ports on the front side, 15 watt charging for both devices, two type C ports, 30 watt charging for either device, two type A ports, a headphone jack, micro and mini SD card slots. Typically on the front side you only have three or four ports to pick from. This one gives you about double that. The back side has even more of a selection, 3.5 millimeter line out port, optical Toslink audio port, three type A ports, an ethernet jack, two HDMI 2.0 ports, two Thunderbolt 4 ports. There is also two two other Thunderbolt ports offering a 100 watt charging speed, a security lock, and DC input for power. Between the front and the back side, there's a total of five Type-A ports and eight Type-C ports. The only thing really missing here is the display port, which I can get an adapter for that. All my storage, my accessories, my monitors can easily handle this device. This does charge any laptop around 96 watts of charging speed, so it will keep any laptop topped up. With setting everything up, this device is more so specifically for Apple devices it will work with Windows. One Thunderbolt cable will power two monitors at 4K60. Depending on whatever Apple computer is being used, it can kind of vary how many devices you can have this hooked up to. The MacBook Air can run a single monitor. The Mini can run up to two. The M series chips, the Pros can run up to two monitors. This device really requires the Max chips, M1 to M4 to really power up to four monitors. The 14, 16 inch MacBook Pro or Mac Studio are the only devices that do have the Max chip or the Ultra chip. One reason why they say this is Mac only is because of the dual Thunderbolt cable. Not every Windows computer has setups for like ports like this. Either way, I've been testing this out for the last month or two and the performance has been great. My only major issue with this is the SD card slot. The memory card has to be inserted upside down. My other Thunderbolt devices don't really have this issue. It's not really a deal breaker, but a minor inconvenience. I do have two 2.5K monitors to test out here with my setup. This is from a portable triple screen setup I've been using for my laptops. They are from a company called Uperfect, which can be picked up off Amazon for about $300. It's a really nice product. I've been using this at my job for a few months and it's been wonderful. Honestly, it's one of the best professional setups I've used, especially for anyone on the go. All three monitors work extremely well with my 16 inch MacBook Pro. If I would have had one more display, that would have been Perfect. With this Thunderbolt device, I can have up to four monitors at any given time. One thing people might have a problem with is the dual connected Thunderbolt cable. Rest assured, this is a normal Thunderbolt 4 dock and the cable can be swapped out with an individual one. Only a few laptops can really take advantage of this dual cable. This is my regular cable. I've been using this for the last few years. I just need to plug it into the ports on the back side and it works like normal. The only downside is it can power four monitors at the same time. At most, it 
they can only do two. Two monitors for one cable, hence why they give you a dual cable. Any Windows laptop, iPad, or computer that has a singular Thunderbolt port can take advantage of this setup. With something like this, it offers some more flexibility with multiple devices, so it's not just being limited by one device with one cable. You can branch out into multiple things. This works extremely well with any iPad with the M1 chipset. It offers Stage Manager and extends the display to a second monitor. It works like any Thunderbolt device I've used before. All my devices, my accessories, the storage, all the work will work with my iPad Pro. The only downside is it can only use one monitor and not two. Using Thunderbolt compared to USB-C is that Type-C tends to just stretch out the image. On an ultra-wide monitor, it can look slightly pixelated. Thunderbolt uses the native resolution for any monitor, so it looks pretty normal. Think of like retro gaming with older consoles. Some will emulate on like a 4x3 with black bars on the sides, but everything will look normal and crisp compared to stretching out like the whole thing on like a normal TV. Any iPad with Type-C will work here. Non-M series chips will just mirror the display. It will not offer Stage Manager like my Mini 6. The normal dual Thunderbolt cable will not work here. So you do need a separate Thunderbolt cable in order to like really get this to work properly. It's weird they don't include that in the box. Not many Windows laptops have dual Thunderbolt cables on the sides like what my MacBook Pro has. This is why they might state it's not compatible with Windows. I'm not sure why they don't include a single Thunderbolt cable in the box to avoid the confusion, but unfortunately they don't. I do have an underpowered Windows laptop from Asus i5U, 8GB of RAM. It's basic, but it does work. It's a Facebook email machine with an OLED screen. It does have a single Thunderbolt port. This device will work with it. To keep my 49-inch ultra-wide going and even a second one on the side, everything works like normal. There is some occasional slowdown. That's just because my laptop is not the fastest. Running full-size apps on multiple windows works like any other Thunderbolt device I've used. If any Windows device has dual Thunderbolt ports, then it could technically take advantage of the four monitors between Windows and Mac. This works like any other Thunderbolt device. It runs like normal. I'm not super familiar with Chromebooks, like newer ones, but I know there are some that do support Thunderbolt displays, but technically they should work here. Does it earn the title of Max? Yes, it does. This is the only Thunderbolt device which can power four screens at any given time. With that being said, it does require a laptop with extra power, like the Max chipset, around $400, but that's really worth the price because it offers more compared to the competition. The build quality is excellent. It has all the ports anyone could really ask for, and it can power four monitors at any given time. It has a slight edge over the competition. This really isn't meant for the everyday person who might need one screen for their laptop. This is meant for the individual who needs three or four screens at any given time. So for the high end, this does sit on top of the hill. So like always, it's V, stay classy.